I just put that thing in my eye. Hi, good day. Somebody on make hiya, guys. Somebody on make hiya. I am actually doing a makeup tutorial. I never thought that, like I would be doing this because like I am not a makeup artist. I am not someone that you know. I don't think. I think my makeup is good. Um, things that I do for myself, I think take it with a grain of salt, okay? Because my makeup look is very much drag queen inspired. I need to learn how to do minimum like makeup. I need to learn how to do that. And then once I know how to do that, I'll know how to like do like a whole gag. But yes, I just wanted to say um, thank you guys so much for your support throughout my, my YouTube journey because I think I get a lot of beautiful comments on my on my YouTube videos and that's what I, that's exactly what I wanted. I wanted a YouTube channel speaking about mental health but also getting doing videos that people can relate to where people can say oh my gosh I've been through that situation oh my gosh like I like I went through that and all of that stuff so I think that that, that really inspires me to do more because I love that kind of feedback. It just gives me a moment to be like, wow, I'm actually helping somebody through something. So I want to say thank you to everyone that has um, been watching my YouTube videos. This is just something like everybody has been requesting a YouTube video on a makeup, how I do my makeup, and this is what I do. First step to looking like a summer wow okay so looking like a summer one we're gonna be looking like snatched okay so um first of all we need to put on sunscreen it is a need it's a necessity i don't know if you put the primer on first or you put the sunscreen on first i don't know okay but i'm gonna put the sunscreen on first because tell me to summer now you know, like, we need sunscreen like for the whole of the year like but like it's a necessity Okay, so now we're going to use a primer. Um, I am going to use NYX. I say NYX. Okay, I must look through here. Sorry. <laughs> so I'm going to use NYX, the NYX primer. I don't know if you can see. I'm so sorry, friend. If you cannot see it, I am so sorry. <laughs> I am not AMUA. <laughs> so I'm going to use this primer. This primer is... See, Skin Perfection Primer Base Perfect. They said something in a different language, I don't know. Okay, treat your skin to this velvety primer. Feels lighter than a cloud and leaves skin looking and feeling divine. I think that that is true. I don't know. It makes my skin feel like I've got, like, you know, this. Do you need primer? Um, apparently we do um i think in the long run it's better to have primer because um it almost like helps your makeup loss apparently i think actually, I, what i've learned um about makeup is that makeup is literally a money making scheme like it's a like it's literally like you do not need some of these products but they make you feel like you need it but yeah, so your um, makeup, some of the things that these people are telling you to buy are not really a necessity. So I'm, what I'm doing is I'm just damn it, sorry. And I use my fingers. I use my fingers for most of these things because, um, first of all, I don't have um, the brushes for these things. Some of them. We'll get into the brushes later. But um, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm also going to put primer on my mustache area because we are putting some concealer over that and I'm just going to make sure that it's to my liking because what I do like with primer is that it makes my, gives me that white cast on my pore side. So my problem areas are the pores. I'm going to look through this one. I'm going to look at it. I'm going to look at it. Okay, my problem is on the pores, so I need to be able to 
see that it's like actually closing my pores. Um, I think I have enough on. Good. But don't let the light fool you, friend. Don't let the light fool you. Okay, so I'm gonna just put on a little bit here, a little bit here. I still don't know what little bit. We must throw the whole bottom. They say when they say um, do a pinch. We do our end. So okay, so I'm just gonna dab it in like this. I'm so sorry, I'm using my mirror. I'm gonna dab this in here. It's basically, my problem it is all the pores. I've seen people do primer all over their face. Um, I don't. Okay, so I Jackie Aina puts powder on before she puts on Zilon. Let's try that out because I've never actually and I'm gonna use this flat kind of brush. I need to really wash my brush with that okay. Um I'm gonna use this brush. Um I'm not sure the name, it does never name. I bought it from Take a Lot, you know. Um I'm just gonna throw some Oh, and this is um, Banana Powder by Revolution. Okay, so I'm going to do this with the mirror. And we're basically going to put it wherever. Oh, she used it to brighten up and just clear up the skin. I'm using it to just like um, pull the pores because. Um, not that I um, not that I actually have a problem with my skin not being you know porous when I my skin looks fine when I have um, um, just the concealer on and the primer and whatever whatever but Jackie Aina takes it a step further and she um, powdered foundation on her on her face before she goes in with her actual situation so let's first see how this goes and wing it concealer so i'm using nyx professional makeup concealer um you can't see this i don't know why i'm showing you you cannot even say it okay um so i'm using this con stop one stop contour concealer this shade is in warm honey that's what i use i do think that this is very really yellow for my skin my skin's already dry like ugh. you know what because i put on that powder guys this is another waste of money like <sighs> waste the coins you see all the emuas do the ch -ch 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 -ch. Waste the comments. I don't know. Maybe I just got the wrong one. <laughs> but it really is not a gag. I have the revolution. <laughs> I have the revolution. Makeup Revolution London. Shake while before use. It's just the one of the stickers. Um glow fix. It's supposed to illuminate fix spray. It's illuminating fixing spray. So it's supposed to brighten up your skin and you know. Um Maybe, but you guys have been saying that I look I look at low, so but I don't know. It could be the ring light, you know. But I'm just gonna. I don't know. Don't try this, <laughs> you know. Um, but yeah. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go in with our concealer, NYX. Um, I love NYX. I say NYX. You might say NYX. I don't know. But yeah, so I'm just going to put it on under my eye like this. Under my eye. And what I do also is I will put it on under my nose, in my nose creases. Because that is a place that tends to get really dark. Um, and then also I put on uh, my lid I put on my lid because my lids are actually kind of dark especially if you want to put like eyeshadow on we're not doing eyeshadow today but like if you want to put eyeshadow on it's just put concealer on the lid as well 
because that's amazing. I don't know. I keep looking at this screen, but I need to look at this section. I am so sorry. Friend, I am so sorry. Okay, so now we're going to blend this. I don't have a brush to blend it. I don't. I feel like it's better also to just blend with your finger because you blend. Your finger, your hand has heat on, so I don't know. I've never used the beauty blender. That could also be just a money making situation but we gonna see i'm gonna buy it and i'm gonna let you know okay okay so can you already see how this eye is already like kind of brightened you know because of the concealer so we using it i personally love a you know situation look kind of situation so that's what we're trying to aim for every makeup situation I want to say right off the bat, um, I do feel kind of weird on my um, areas because of um, the powder, you know, but I use it to make my pores look tinier. I can actually see it disappear, but also do you rather want to have like feel weird during the day? You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? So, um... Maybe it's not for me, it's not for my skin. Because I've got like combination skin. So I try to keep the moisture wherever I can. So now we are going back with our concealer. I should have done this actually before. But um, yes, and I know that you guys have noticed that I dab it on my skin. That's what I do, and now we are going to leave this dry. So as you can see, I, could, I only put it on like certain areas of my face. Now, let's, let's sit our face, you know, let's sit our face. I'm going to just spray myself with the again. Let's just see what I feel like. Okay. I wanted to say. Okay, so now I'm just using that banana powder to place it basically trying to carve in a, not a nose contour but it's basically just to brighten up the areas that I want to brighten it up so I'll be putting it here and I'll be putting it here and then I'm going to kind of bring it down so that it brings out a nose contour before I actually contour if that makes sense okay to the dab excess product of your brush and then what we're going to do is we're basically going to do it, you know, here, right there. So we're just going to slant it in so that it almost like brings that... I have this um, palette that I bought from Take Lot. Um, I had a palette before the supply. I think it was the NYX, I'm not even sure. But that heat pan. So I had to choose like another like contour situation. And this is from BYS on the go powder. Okay. And it has like a few different shades. So here's the contour shades at the bottom. And then it has almost like a brightening kind of shades on top. So what I do with these, I put it on top wherever I want to brighten out my face. So here's the yellow powder, the banana powder does like 
gives some surety insurance that it stays inside but it also brightens up but i use the lighter powders just to brighten up certain areas and when you're getting to the okay so what i do is i take a you know a smallish brush and just wipe it down smallish brush like this and i'm going to take the medium one first you know and before i take it in i'm gonna take it in okay so what i'm doing is i'm just gonna like dab it on the top like that and that already makes that already gives you like a nose contour before you even do a nose contour you know what i'm saying so that is what it's on so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna take this and i'm gonna speed this up for you and also just note that i'm i'm like dabbing it in i'm not like wiping it in i guess you can wipe it in but like i don't know And then with the smaller section of your nose, you're going to just... So what I always like to do is I always like to just make sure everything is connected. So it looks like a, you know, like a thing. Okay, and then our nose is snouched. Some people like to do a thingy. I have yet to accomplish that look. I don't know. That's just me. And then what we're gonna do is now we're gonna take our okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take a bigger brush and we're gonna use it for our cheeks. What I usually do is I bring it down, but I think I'm not gonna do that today. I'm rather gonna just keep it up and keep it like higher up than a darker shape for this one because we wanna look like we are snatched so So I'm taking it further up than what I actually need it to look like, than what I actually need it to, you know, and I'm only gonna so right now we're just blending everything into one because yeah, already this has created like a shadow whatever we're going to do next okay so yeah we're going to put like all these other extra things on so yeah the same kind of palette and i'm going to use the darker one let me use the darker you know section could use the light one i don't know it's just whatever so i'm just gonna Bring it in there, you can see how dark it is. It's so pigmented, but also don't be afraid because we're going to blend that out. So I'm just gonna take that away. I'm gonna go into my crease. So we're just connecting everything together. Now, I think I'm gonna take the the lighter shade of that and then just bring it down to the section of to do and what we should have done is before we did the things we should have like just brightened up our under the brow you know the section and so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna continue it Brighten up our eye, we're going to be using it on our lid. Okay, so.
we need to kind of take it one step further and do a bottom wing i love me a bottom kind of um eye situation so we're gonna be doing that okay so i'm gonna use i feel like i'm gonna use the double one even though i'm really scared to like that but let's just do it <laughs> so we're gonna use the dark shade why am i taking this brush it's not even my brush it's not even the brush that i use to um do this with i'm missing my whole brush stuff but anyway. I just put that thing in my eye. Okay, so we put it in. Can we see a different frame? Can we see a different frame? Okay, so we're just gonna blend everything that we just added into one another because we want to look like it's like one image i really hope you can't hear this music because i'm not trying to be demonetized not like i am monetized i'm just saying do you know what i hope like i forgot this video is a whole lot of forgotten like it's a whole lot of things that i have forgot i hope that i'm still able to salvage it are we gonna use gonna wing our liner and line our life away okay so You know what? I think I need to sharpen this thing. Oh, guy. But um, basically, what we want is we want our face to look like, you know, ugly. But basically, um, yeah. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna just like clean whatever up with our allegor in form. That's how I'm gonna finish the game. What are we gonna do now? It's a mystery for Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna like I wanna just do it okay, but like I feel like it's so intimidating. I'm going to use this very light brown color. Um, I know, I know. I said I'm gonna use only the contour palette. But um, I'm going to use just this shade over here and I'm just going to go over. Ah, look amazing. Okay. This is tricking you. Okay, this is lying to you. I'm going to show you the picture because this looks amazing. I don't know about that. But this looks amazing right over here okay um but yeah so basically what i did was let's try it with white let's try with white i know it's scary Ooh. yeah we've already upgraded this look okay so um yeah so for me I love to make like the like light colors on the bottom here and then bring it out on the side here. I wonder if I should put because me and drag queens are looking I'm sorry. I told y'all that I like me a drag makeup. Okay, so um I'm using the white. <sighs> okay. So I'm just gonna blend it and that is the makeup look that I do all the time. I do this all the time. <laughs> Obviously you can see that I 
don't actually have a routine i just go forth and meet ham on certain things um basically what i do i like to focus on my eyes i like to focus on the energy do you know what i didn't even do i didn't even do this on the one hi so this is the final look i feel like i can't wait to tell myself well can't wait to watch these videos again and be like wow are you doing the most doing the utmost you really thought you was doing something really bitch you really thought you was doing something you ain't doing shit. <laughs> okay so um basically what i did was i just did like a nice kind of situation i feel like i still need to find like a nice mood i feel like nude is gonna be my friend till the bitter end basically that's the makeup look i feel like this is like the kind of look that i do when i um i'm gonna film you know um i don't think i think it's a look where you, you can you can do this look and you can go on a photo shoot and stuff like that i don't think it's an everyday kind of look i think it's just like you know but once i find out how to do an everyday kind of look i'm all let y'all know but yeah so thank you guys so much on my summer world journey and yeah um thank you guys so much for um staying tuned thank you guys for watching my previous video if you haven't watched it yet please do watch it because basically it um speaks about my journey through the pandemic and we still through the pandemic um but i think it's something that a lot of us can relate on um in terms of what we've been through we went through probably different things but our emotions still kind of played a part in the situation so thank you guys for watching this video this is the kind of loop 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 lip <laughs> this is the kind of lip that i did i'm usually not a lip person personally because i feel like it's, it does the most for my face like it's too much like i feel like my mouth is so big that it's just a lot for anybody to take you know thank you so much for watching this video i am sorry for saying all the time comment like share and subscribe <laughs> and i'll see you in for the next video i feel